it was very stressful at this time because I was going, I was suffering from depression and I was on antidepressants. In the hostel, there were two other families, but there were also uh, young people there who smoked drugs on the premises. It doesn't matter what I did to try and lift that depression, it, it still, I still had to go back to the hostel. They say children are resilient to certain situations, but I think she could sense that mummy was upset, mummy was not happy, and I used to get really frustrated at times, and I just wasn't happy, and at times when she wanted to play with me or <coughs> interact with me, I would just, I just, want to, I just want to sleep all day. It got to the point I felt I wasn't capable of looking after Tia. You know, even myself, my weight just deteriorated. I just didn't sleep, I didn't eat. It got really bad to the point I thought I might as well take Tia to social services and just hand her in because I can't, I just felt I couldn't do it anymore. It got really, really bad. Sorry. I've never felt that vulnerable. Um, you feel disconnected from everybody in society, even your friends and family. You just feel you have no self-worth. <clears throat> you feel really low. And you you just feel you don't fit in. You feel you feel it's, you just feel very shut out and cold. And I, I never thought and until I was in that situation, I kinda have a gist or have a feeling of what it is for other people out there to be homeless. And it's it's been an eye opener for me. I needed to believe in myself and to get up and to fight back. I found the energy, I don't know if it was because of my daughter, I just looked at her and I thought, well, she needs me. <coughs> I'm the only person here for her and if I don't fight for her and myself, no one's going to do it for us. So I think she, she, gave, she gave me the energy to get up and go on. It's, <coughs> it's happy for me this Christmas because this time last year, as I said, I was on the antidepressants, I was really low and I didn't look forward to it and it was the first time I'd woken up in a hostel on Christmas Day. But I'm so looking forward to it this year because it gives, Christmas as well to me means home, security, family, friends and it makes me think, well, I'm okay this Christmas but there are other people out there that are probably going to not look forward to it. It's just another day for them. It doesn't, it's probably, if anything, it probably depresses them even more.